What is good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? And welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger. As you guys can see, we got Mamba in the background. This is the second time that I'm recording this video. I don't know what the heck is going on, but for some reason, I recorded this video on my phone when I was on my way home from work uh, yesterday. And I was going to upload it for you guys yesterday, but for some reason, the video's file won't send from my phone to the computer um i don't know why it's tweaking i even sent it to my girl and tried to send it to the computer because it's her computer my computer is messed up right now and apple isn't open so i can't even take it up there to them like my computer legit just won't turn on like at all so that's where we are right now so i decided um i gotta get this video up for you guys so i decided i'm just gonna reshoot the video today and drop it today it's unfortunate because that video was hella dope it was raw you know what i mean it was my first time shooting it so you know what i mean it was definitely um a good video it was a great video i really liked how it came out i'm kind of upset um but yeah man as you guys can probably tell we are in a different a different scenery um for the vlog like i told you on the last video i did end up moving don't worry i definitely will have um the new house tour video go up live on me and my girl's channel joy and joel it pops up right there make sure you guys go check it out got a vet over there they got some cool cars in this garage i ain't gonna lie z06 right there then they got a challenger down there and they got my camaro I got a couple camaros a couple stangs couple audis couple maybachs couple s550s like the works porsches all that they got all the it's, it's some nice cars over here so i definitely probably would get a video for you guys um showing off some of the cars that are here it's a good amount of cars but let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into today's video let's get it Good y'all, you dig? Welcome back to yet again, another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video, you dig? All right, guys, so like you guys see in the title and in the thumbnail, today we're gonna be talking about my top five modifications that you can do to your Camaro to make it look more aggressive and just more unique to you, you know what I mean? So coming in hot, at number one is going to be suspension obviously as you guys can see my car is slammed on the floor right now i am on airlift 3p um performance bags right now the struts and the management all airlift performance um right now i'm currently aired out but coming in hot at number one is definitely going to be suspension you can go bags you can go coilovers you can go springs you can do whatever you want shit some people even cut the springs off the stock struts now do i recommend that no is it gonna is your ride quality gonna be shit yes so i would just go ahead if you know what i mean if you're not going for something like top of the mook most expensive like bags you dig what i'm saying you could definitely go springs eibach lowering springs cost you about like i want to say like 200 400 and then get your spring compressor and you can do the install yourself really and truly it just takes time and being patient you know what i mean um so yeah number one is definitely going to be suspension i feel like it just changes the entire look of the car like if you come to the front end it's like it just looks completely menacing you know what i'm saying it looks so evil i don't know it just it it changes the look of the car for me for real um so then coming in hot at number two is definitely gonna be exhaust you feel me i don't know about you guys first and foremost i'm sorry about the wind noise if there is any i don't know about you guys but I like to hear my car when I drive it. You feel me? I'm paying all this money for a V8. You know what I mean? You spend all this money for a V8 or a V6, whatever. You know what I mean? Whatever you drive. Um, I want to hear it. You know what I mean? So, speaking of that, let's go ahead and hear it. See what Mamba's talking about.
yeah man as you guys can tell mamba is extremely loud the downshifts are crazy i'll go ahead and insert a clip of i think this clip is third to second or it might be fourth to third and you guys can hear the downshift it's insane I also put a I also shot a video of me doing the first drive in the Camaro with the new exhaust. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put a card up right now. Go check it out. It's definitely worth checking out. The car backfires like crazy. It's ridiculous. It sounds amazing. It's very deep. It's very aggressive. It's just like it's everything that I wanted in a in a catless, you know what I mean? Everything that you would want in a catless exhaust. Now, that's going to be number two. So right now, we have suspension and we have exhaust, right? I'm going to go ahead and turn them off. Now, coming in at number three is definitely going to be some sort of a spoiler, a wicker bill, whatever you can get, whatever you can put on your car. Definitely makes the rear end more aggressive. Um, you match that up with some quad tips or, you know what I mean, or some fat singles and definitely changes the rear end of your vehicle. You dig what I'm saying? So definitely worker bill is definitely going to be a must or even just a regular spoiler. It doesn't necessarily have to be a worker bill because in my opinion, and you guys know when I did the top five things that I hate about my Camaro back when I had Hazel, um, not having a spoiler was definitely one of them i feel like it just makes the car look too plain in the rear end and then you got a very aggressive front end it just doesn't match up to me now that's going to be number three so coming in hot at number four we actually going to go to the interior of the car it's going to have to be a carbon fiber steering wheel man as you guys know I have the red paddle shifter uh, extensions with the red carbon fiber on the shift knob and then that's my setup for the bag controller right there as you guys can see but imagine a carbon fiber steering wheel right there in replace of the in replacement of the leather steering wheel it definitely just changes the entire look of the interior and if you think about it this is one of the most slept on mods possibly because of how expensive it is but one of the most slept on mods is swapping out your steering wheel if you really think about it the main thing that you're touching while you're driving your car while you're in your car is the steering wheel you dig what i'm saying that's the main thing you're touching so if you change the steering wheel it i'm not gonna say that it makes it a brand new car but it definitely makes you feel like you're driving a different car you know what i mean i haven't personally done it yet but i'm speaking off of experience as far as putting on like a steering wheel cover or you know what i mean something of that nature it definitely changes how it feels when you're driving the car so i'm definitely gonna have to go with a carbon fiber steering wheel coming in at number four now wrapping it up it up at number five man this is a big one you dig what i'm saying this is a big one wrapping it up at number five it's gonna have to be some kind of aero kit now me personally you guys already know how many front splitters i've gone through um not just on this car on hazel as well and how many side skirts i've gone through on hazel so definitely if you don't have your car lowered, right? You're at stock height. If you add a front splitter or some side skirts and a nice aggressive diffuser, it definitely helps make the car look a little bit lower to the ground. Um, I'm speaking from personal experience. When I had Hazel and I installed the front splitter on there, she definitely looked lower and aggr more aggressive in the front end. Um, it, Like I said, it makes it look more aggressive. It also gives it that stance, man. It's all about that stance. How it looks while it's rolling how it looks while it's parked definitely important in my book um now i know none of these were under the hood modifications that you should get um because this was like i said in the beginning of the video just the cosmetics you feel me just five cosmetic mods that will definitely make your car stand out be more unique and definitely change how you feel about your own personal car and that's really all that matters how you feel about your car do you like it do you love it do you hate it does it match your needs why because at the end of the day all those people can say whatever they want all the haters can say whatever they want in your comments or whatever 
but who's driving the car who's paying for the car who bought the car you who's paying for the modifications you so why wouldn't you make yourself happy you dig what i'm saying so without further ado that's gonna be it for this video if you're new to the channel make sure you smash that subscribe button i want to go ahead and take this time real quick to say thank you to all of my subscribers we just hit 1.971,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. We're on the road to 2K, man. We're almost there. If you guys haven't already, please smash that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. And make sure, make sure, make sure you go subscribe to Joy and Joel right now so you guys can get the full new crib house tour, all the crazy pranks, all the, you know what I mean? All the stuff that you don't see from J.I. on this channel will definitely be on that channel. So make sure you guys go subscribe, turn on the post notifications, help us get to 200 subs. I know I haven't dropped that many videos on that channel. I know we've been slacking. Don't worry, we're getting back into the groove of things. We just got into the new crib, getting settled in, and then just look at this view. You know what I mean? It's nothing crazy, but it's definitely, it's definitely different from where we were before. You know what I mean? So, without further ado, like I said, it's been your boy J.I. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.